How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the GMO with the Toronto Maple Leafs. We're here at preseason, so we have a chance to look at our lines. Let's do that real quick to get caught up. Alright, so Lupul. He's 34 years old. Bottom six forward, potential eyes, and 83 overall. And and that could drop over the course of the season. So, I'm going to give the second line a chance to prove himself in the regular season for, you know, maybe 10 games or so. But if they do not put up points, loopholes on the trade market. So, now, I mean, these guys are 85, 86 overall, but they're more defensive players. Like, as you can see, they don't have the best offense. Now, let's go to the first day of the regular season. Let's go up to the 10th. Now, let's see how we do in preseason. Okay, we can send our scout out. I don't really know what I need. I have, the, I'm going to scout forwards, I think. Let's do six weeks here. Okay, all right. So we're not having the best preseason, it looks like. Yeah, three and three. So we're three and four in preseason. Let's stop the sim. I wanna see. It will it show me what they did in preseason? It should. Yeah, all right, here we go. So let's, let's do forwards. I just want to see what the second line did. So, Kreider and JVR put up points. Okay. Neiman, okay. Lupo had five points in seven games. Oh, so, let's see if that continues. Now, nah. first day of the regular season. Let's Let's go up to the 26th. Loss, a win, okay. Another loss, but... So, we're like a 500 team right now. Come on. Oh, oh yeah, it's the... I, t I gave him a tender, qualifying offer during free agency. Four and three. Any um, player means? Yes, there is. Let's see what they want. Who is it? Lepsic. What does he want? He's not happy with his ice time. Okay. I'll make some changes, but I don't know if he'll give him any more ice time. No. Okay, we're seven games in the season. Let's do another few weeks here. Let's, let's go up to this Calgary game. And I can see what the second line has done. It's, you know, we're 500 right now. Player Morale, let's... Koltsov. So, he says, I feel... Like the locker room is a dysfunctional family, we may need a shake-up. Okay. Yeah. He's he's young goalie, so we gotta make him happy. Hopefully he can be our future starter. Alright, six and four. Let's, let's do this Florida game, and then I'll check out the second line. Hopefully the first line's getting it done as well. Okay. That's done with the WHL for forwards. Let's go to the OHL now. Let's do the same thing for six weeks. Seven and five. Yeah, all right. God. We just can't get on a roll now. Five, two loss. Eight and eight. All right. 
Let's take a look at everything over here. We're 16 games in the season. Let's go to team stats. All right, fifth in our division, eight and eight. So goals for 2.18, that's not good enough. Goals against isn't bad, but so we're not scoring goals. But our power play is doing pretty good, 23.53%. So it's five on five, okay. I mean, our PK could be better, but 82% is not the worst. Now let's go to player stats. Let's go to forwards first. So, so Turris, 17 points in 16 games, GVR 14, Matthews 8. Matthews needs to be doing better. We got Lepsic, Bozak, Lupo with 4. No goals. Kreider, only with four goals. So, Kreider and Lupo. Ooh. Nylander, two points? Hmm. Should I move Turris down to the second line and Matt, or not Matthew's, um, Nylander on the right wing, maybe? I mean, Turris is a leading point, man. Maybe Matthews to the second line. But I think a trade needs to happen, though. So let's go to trade players. And it has to be Lupo. I just do not trust his potential and his age. Um, where is he? Let's go to right wing. There's... And there's Lupo. So, he's making 2.9 this year. He has one year left. Now, let's see if I can find a team with a right wing. That's reasonable. Burakovsky, that's a little bit much. Wheeler, Bodker, Ehlers, no. Bertanen. Henderson, Vancouver doesn't really have any right wings. Tampa Bay, Kucherov, that's a bit much. Callahan, he's up there in age, I would imagine. 33, yep. St. Louis, they might have. Tiersenko, no way, I'm getting that. Ty Raddy, 85 overall, let's take a look at this. So. So this is a second line forward. He has good offense, I'd say. His wrist shot actually could be better, but not. He'd be a high overall if if he didn't have such a weak physical category. So let's let's see what he's done actually first. So he has five goals, two assists this year, seven points in fifteen games. He had forty three last year. Hmm. Did they have any playoff games? Oh. I'm pretty sure I've seen St. Louis in the playoffs. Whatever. Let's let's try this, because Lupo, he's not getting any younger. He might drop. Let's go after Tyratty. So And then I'm not using this guy. So let's put him up there. That probably won't go through. Any defenseman, maybe? Supper overall. We got Riley Gardner, Gary Cowan. Ooh, Harrington's 84. Hmm. Marinson, I think, let's see here. He's just like average everywhere, like three points minus five this year. Yeah, what are you doing in the playoffs? 
He did good. Oh, that's the H. Oh. Well, it doesn't show playoff stats. <laughs> okay. So I can't really see what he's done in the playoffs. But I think I'm going to put him on the, the trade. And then I can sign Harrington because he is more defensively minded. So, yeah, I'll sign him to a contract after I'm done with this trade. Actually, I think I should do it now. Let's exit all this. Just, just so I can do the lines quicker. Let's go to Manage Budget. Contracts. Okay, where is he? Defenseman. Okay. Must be in here somewhere. Here is Harrington. So he wants 2.975 for one year. I'll give him that. Now, he needs a few days, so I'm just going to sim a few more games. Well. Go to this one, see if he accepts. Nope, not yet. There we go, he accepted. Now, let's do that trade now. All right, L loophole. Go to St. Louis. I think this would be a good fit, though. He's Ty Ratty. Wish I could see who he's playing with, but I'm fine with giving that up. Then you can add Marinson into the deal. You know, he hasn't really done much for us. It's only 84 overall. I'll expect him to grow a lot more, but. He's a top six defenseman, and we're replacing him with Harrington. So, Lupul Marinson for Raddy. Wonder if I could get up on the pros, maybe like a low end prospect out of them, like a th like a top nine maybe. Where is it? Okay, um, yeah, it's so much. They want to give this guy up. Who is this? Top, medium top nine. I wonder if that would go through. They have more trade value now. Or should I just. Who's, who's this guy? Fourth round. Might not be bad. Let's take a chance on this guy. It's, that's pretty even. Marinson, Lupo, Ferrati, and Muzel. Yeah, let's do that. That go through. All right, it's just a tad off. Can, where's that Levo guy? I'm not using him, so let's put him in there. Oh, but now I need to take a player back from them. Let's get their worst player. Preferably one year. Alright. This will work. Rejected. You know what? I'll just... Nah, I don't need him. take him back and Bertuzzo that should go through wait really just a touch okay draft picks and fourth maybe
Okay, I'll retain salary. Let's see if this works. Come on. Okay. What if I... They gotta have someone with salary still. Let's make 1.15. I know I can get this to go through. Gunnerson, here we go. Can maybe take this guy? Nah, I'll leave it. There we go. Now, I'm gonna add the lines. And I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So, I added Harrington to the defensive core on the top six. And gave him PK time. He has, he has really good defensive stats. So, we're going to use that. But, our... Our... Neander was really struggling, so I was thinking of moving him to the first line, but Terz is our leading point man. Maybe have... No, I'm going to try this for a little bit. Matthew's there. Neander there. See if that works. So now it's Matthew's, Kreider, and Tyratty. Hoping that helps out that second line. And he can still grow, so... Now... Do a little more simming. We'll go 25 games in, I think. So, roughly. So let's go up to this. Let's go to this Minnesota game. 2 1 loss. There we go. 7 3 win. Okay. That's a little bit better now. 12 9. But then we. 12 10 1. Ah. Yeah. Gosh. And then a 5 1 loss, but a 4 1 win. <laughs> no consistency. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's right here and just take a look at the stats. Terrorists. Let's take a look at player stats first, because that's the main thing. Let's go to. F whoops, that's it's Vancouver. Let's go to forwards. Sort by points. All right, Terrorists. Twenty-nine points in twenty-seven games. G very twenty-four and twenty-seven. Tyratty has seventeen and six or seventeen and twenty-six. Matthews. He's picking up a little bit. 15 and 27, Leipzig though. Bozak, Kreider, 9-27, Neander has 8 and 27. So, I want him to get going. Uh, okay. Let's go to defenseman now. So, you have Riley has 15 and 27, Gardner 9, Carrick 8, Dupre 4, um, Cowan 2, and Harrington, none. Am I six and nine games? What if I should split up Cowan and Harrington, maybe? And put like the prey in the, the prey with Cowan, maybe. We'll see. I can do that next episode though. And but and goalies. Bernie two point six nine. Colts two point four seven. They're both five hundred. Both have nine one one save percentage. Bernie has two shutouts. Okay, so... Hmm. So they're playing very similar. But... We need to get going, though. We have to. 
Now let's do team stats, see if anything changed. You're still 500. 2.48, okay. Then 2.74 against. Power play is still doing well. Well, 20.65. But our PK is doing fantastic, I'd say. 85.25%. So it's our 5 on 5. That, that's really bringing us down. I'll try messing around with the lines again next episode, but I think I'll end it right here. I'll see you next episode.